Diasi has the potential to be among the next big four as he's amazing on the court, but with all that power comes great responsibility that Nick Kyrgios used to misuse. The man has been in the limelight for all the wrong reasons, but it looks like he's changing for the better, as fans can't help but get enough of his wholesome moves. Who knew he could be such a lovable guy? Let's find out more, starting off with a gesture that won many hearts. Just recently, true to his nature, the man has been in the news again, but this time it's not for any tantrums or emotional outbursts. Nope, instead he pulled a super sweet move that melted the hearts of even those who used to despise him. Only in his second singles match after losing to Novak Djokovic, he faced Tommy Paul, and the Wimbledon finalist shone brightly with some incredible moves. There's no denying that he's absolutely a magician with a racket in his hands. Both on and off the court, he had moments of genuine grace that shocked the audience, and despite some of his normal shenanigans, he also pulled some super wholesome moves. During the opening set of the play, Kyrgios was in action and accidentally smacked a lady in the audience, and of course, everyone was worried to see if she was okay. Right after it hit her, Tommy and others walked over to check on the lady, who looked to be in some discomfort as she was cradling her head in her hands. And then came the moment that won the hearts of all those in the audience. Kyrgios walked over from the other side of the court and gave the lady one of his towels as a gesture of apologizing. Just like that, the audience couldn't help but internally awe at his quick reaction. But hold up, what was an elderly supposed to do with the towel after getting hit by a ball? And it looks like it wasn't just us who were confused. The lady too was confused by the gesture and could be seen asking the person next to her what the towel was for. Well, the towel might have no practical use for, but we're still glad Nick did what he did. And this isn't the only time that he hit a fan and followed it by some lovely acts. Looks like Nick's known to have tons of vicious star balls that end up hitting people in the audience. This one time, while playing the doubles quarterfinal against Michael Venus and Tim Putz, Kokonakis served, and while it was dead, instinctively, Kyrgyz struck the ball and sent it into the audience right in the face of a young fan. He instantly noticed what had happened and raised one of his hands to apologize to the kid, and as the young fan cried and reacted, we could see the duo feeling guilty. Obviously, with a kid kinda injured, the match was brought to a halt for a couple of seconds. Kyrgyz also noticed the result of his shot and instantly ran to his bag. While it must have felt like a mean move to others that the man chose to freshen up right after hitting a kid, even unknowingly, it looks like he had other things in mind. He went to his bag and took out a racket, which he then gifted to the boy. In that instant, all we could be the crowd rooting for Kyrgyz was his, and he probably felt pretty bad about the shot till the end, because once the match ended, he found the kid again and signed his racket for him. And just like that, he managed to turn the frown upside down. Pretty cute, right? Also, this one time he asked a fan where to serve. The Aussie is often in the news, but it looks like the media only wants to show you his worst moments. Because why does no one talk about the time he asked a fan where he should serve? Here's how it went down. Bringing his true showman spirit to the match, when playing the Washington ATP right on the match point. He talked to two fans in the front row and asked them to do his service. At that point, Nick was leading 40-0 in the match, so it was a pretty crucial stage for him. Once he was done consulting the two, he served. Sadly though, the execution didn't turn out the way he would have planned. It was quite a lovely moment between him and the fans. He served, it hit the net, and the Aussie turned around and mouthed happily to the two ladies. And with that, the entire crowd burst into laughter. In the post-match conference, he even added that he's already done something like this back in 2019, and he knows how great of an experience it can be for the ones in the audience. He also remarked that he wishes he would have gotten something like this from his idols when he used to watch tennis matches. Plus, not just fans, but he's pretty lovely towards other tennis stars too. If you think it's only fans who get to receive his special treatment, you might be in for a surprise. Once in a post-match interview, Osaka was asked how her relationship was with the famously hot-headed Aussie. Osaka called him a nice guy, and she said that he even contacted her after her heartbreaking withdrawal from the 2021 French Open. She also said that it's always been super interesting to watch him, just because she never really could tell what his actual personality was like. She said that he's polite, and they've even talked about some stuff. Naomi was so comfortable around him that she also added how Kyrgios always kind of felt like a brother to her. According to her, the two of them look quite similar. Both the stars are known to be battling mental health issues, and so Osaka also added that she could relate to a lot of his emotions, but what sets them apart is that she's able to channel it better when she's under pressure. And now, in some other news, first up, Alexander Zverev opens up about his lifelong condition. Zverev just came out in public talking about how he's been suffering from diabetes for quite some time now. When the 25-year-old German announced the opening of his foundation for diabetes, he confessed that he is presently out of action due to an ankle injury he received at the French Open earlier this year. Before disclosing when he was diagnosed, he turned to Instagram and talked some more about his foundation. The idea behind 
cited being his health struggles, and now he wishes to help kids struggling with type 1 diabetes. He also added that with this, his aim is to raise awareness among the public on how to avoid developing the disease in the first place. The star even added that his position as an Olympic gold medalist provides an opportunity for him to give back to others less fortunate than he is, and that's what he is currently working on. Also, Nick Kyrgios manages to bag his second Washington title. After struggling with mental health issues only one year ago, Nick Kyrgios has risen to the top of the tennis world once again. By beating Yoshihito Nishioka in Sunday's final, Nick earned his very well-deserved win after a drought that went on for three long years. Playing in his second consecutive singles final after his breakout run at Wimbledon, Kyrgios dominated his Japanese opponent to win his first trophy since his 2019 Washington success with a 6-4, 6-3 victory. He added how winning it after three years has been super emotional for him. The star couldn't help but express his love for the court and how he'd always cherish it because of all the great matches he's had. No one deserved it more than him with all the progress we've seen over the past couple of years. Even he agreed how he'd had an amazing transformation just in the span of a year. We can't wait to see what he has in store for us in the US Open. Finally, Belarusian Victoria Azarenka forced to withdraw. It looks like Djokovic isn't the only one struggling to enter tournaments. Azarenka's pretty much in the same boat as the Wimbledon winner, as she is also forced to withdraw from the National Bank Open to be held in Toronto. This was after her visa application got denied. She explained on Twitter, she said, I wanted to inform you that, unfortunately, I have to withdraw from the tournament in Toronto due to my visa not being approved. It's truly disappointing. It's very sad to miss one of my favorite tournaments. Tennis Canada officials also said that they had worked hard on the applications with Vika and her team and had done all they could do to assist, but the processing time frame had proven too difficult. They finally ended it by saying that they hoped they could see her play next year in Canada. As of right now, she's ranked 20th in the rankings. The Belarusian star has been on a roll as she got to the quarterfinals of the City Open, where she lost to Wang Ziyu. Missing out on the Toronto tournament is obvious a setback for her, career-wise, but we hope she'll come back stronger. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Kyrgios turning over a new leaf with these super wholesome moments? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.